Now we will study the bony orbit. The orbits are pyramidal bony cavities situated one on each side of the root of the nose. They provide sockets for rotatory movements of the eyeballs and they also protect the eyeballs. Now the shape and disposition. Each orbit resembles a four-sided pyramid. Thus it has an apex which is situated at the posterior end of orbit at the medial end of the superior orbital fissure. A base is seen as the orbital opening on the face. It has four walls, roof, floor, lateral and medial walls. The long axis of the orbit passes backwards and medially. The medial walls of the two orbits are parallel and the lateral walls are set at right angles to each other. Now we we'll see the roof. It is concave from side to side and it is formed mainly by the orbital plate of the frontal bone. It is completed posteriorly by the lesser wing of the spinoid. The lacrimal fossa is placed anterolaterally and lodges the lacrimal gland. The trochlear fossa lies anteromedially and it is provide, provides the attachment to the fibrous pulley or the trochlea for the tendon of superior oblique muscle. Now the lateral wall. This is the thickest and the strongest of all the walls of the orbit. It is formed by the anterior surface of the greater wing of sphenoid bone posteriorly and the zygomatic bone anteriorly. Superior orbital fissure occupies the posterior part of the junction between the roof and the lateral wall. Now the floor, it slopes upwards and medially to join the medial wall. It is formed mainly by the orbital surface of the maxilla. By the lower part of the orbital surface of zygomatic bone anterolaterally and the orbital process of palatine bone at the posterior angle. Inferior orbital fissure occupies the posterior part of the junction between the lateral wall and the floor. Through this fissure, the orbit communicates with the infratemporal fossa anteriorly and with the pterygopalatine fossa posteriorly. The infraorbital groove runs forwards in relation to the floor. A small depression on the anteromedial part of the floor gives origin to inferior oblique muscle. Now the medial wall, it is very thin. From before backwards, it is formed by the frontal process of the maxilla, the lacrimal bone, the orbital plate of the ethmoid, the body of the spinoid bone. The lacrimal groove lies anteriorly on the medial wall. It is bounded anteriorly by the lacrimal crest of the frontal process of the maxilla and posteriorly by the crest of the lacrimal bone. The floor of the groove is formed by the maxilla in front and by the lacrimal bone behind. The groove lodges the lacrimal sac which lies deep to the lacrimal fascia. The groove leads inferiorly through the lac nasolacrimal duct to the inferior meatus of the nose. 
the anterior and posterior ethmoidal foramina lie on the fronto ethmoidal suture at the junction of the roof and the medial wall